Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe bar. We are jumping in again and we're on a, ma a major losing streak right now, but that's because we were messing around with mods and stuff. But anyways, we're going to jump in again and who am I going to play as on this joyous of days? Um, I'm kind of feeling an Eden run. We haven't done Mega Satan as Eden. We haven't done normal. Uh, let's let's try and do a Mega Satan Eden run. I do like Eden here and hit like now and again. He's just like a nice sort of Palette Cleanser Type 1, and also we started with some pretty good stuff here. We've got IV Bag, or at least I think that's IV Bag, um, and we've gotten the, what's it called, uh, Little Miner's Helmet, which is really good, Spelunker's Hat. It's going to give us Secret Room Access, um, or Secret Room Knowledge, should I say, um, and then being able to see a room ahead at all times is super goddamn useful. So I'm pretty happy, and like I said, starting with IV Bag's pretty good too, um, being able to get money Whenever we've got spare hearts around is pretty nice. Um, we do have a crawl space here, which I wasn't expecting, really. I've got to be careful of these little skulls. I managed to poison that one. Okay, they're not very strong at all. Right, let's go see what's going on with our uh, black market here. Um, we do have birthright. Spawn... This is, this is kind of insane. This is some good stuff. Spawn three random items from a random pool, only one can be taken, and there's also a car battery there as well, which I goddamn love. Oh, uh, okay, I did not think this room would respawn the enemies, I've gotta say. Anyways, we're gonna come back, I'm probably gonna grab Birthright, um, it's not- Birthright on this character isn't amazing, but it's still good. Um, it's kind of an interesting room here. There you go. Um... Get rid of that real quick, and these two will fly off. But yeah, at the minute, I'm kind of... Ooh, very nice. I'm kind of hesitant to take anything, because I want my hearts. Do not like this room. Poison that guy, and then go. You've been put out, lads. You don't do much now, do you? Kind of cool that these guys can be like put out like that. And they become husks of what they once were. Right, nice key. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do the boss and see if I get a health upgrade. Good. Try and poison where I can, but it's not imperative. Okay, it's kind of hard to poison these guys when they've got all the bombs going on and stuff. There you go. We've got decent stats here, not the best, not the worst. Remember, we're going angel deal here, don't take a devil deal. That is damage, it's not what I was expecting. Right, so I think I'm going to take the risk and take birth right here. Um, throw away some HP. Um, let's go find our shop first, see if we can buy a soul heart first, just in case. I think I'd rather buy the soul heart... Um, and then go down there rather than do it the other way around and then try and find the shop and then maybe get hurt on the way there and be in a difficult position. Don't like this. There you go. Extra bombs is lovely here. Because secret room access is something we want every single floor and we can gain it every single floor if we um, play our cards right with our bombs. Right, so check in here for a soul heart. Um, unfortunately, no soul heart. I guess I'll just buy this for now. Yeah, it's pretty valuable. Pretty good stuff. Right. We're not going to get car battery, but car battery isn't super important with the setup we've got going on right now. I'm not that worried. As for the question of the day to day. Hmm. What's something that you've introduced someone to recently? What's something that, like, maybe someone, a friend in person or someone online that you've introduced them to, like a game or, I don't know. Ooh, this is good stuff. Okay, so we did get a soul heart. Nice. Let's do this first. Now, we'll pick up that now. Then we can do... Nice. Good stuff. Right, was there anything in, the, in that shop there that we actually wanted to buy? 
I don't think there was. I didn't look at the items really, but I don't think there was. There's compost. Compost is good, but honestly, I'm pretty happy with the active I have right now. I've been able to gain money when we want it, and that's pretty darn useful. Um, let's head on through here. And again, we're going to have to remove these guys so that I don't die to them. There you go. Cool. And then take a birthright, see what we end up getting. Wow. That is a very, very garbage selection. <laughs> Can I re-roll them? No, I can't. <laughs> Great. Okay. This hasn't gone well. Grants an extra life respawn as fiend in the previous room. Mum's heal or GB bug. Just not good. I guess I'll take GB bug, but that's kind of gross. I'm going to take voodoo head as well here. Um, and then I'm going to try and reroll for something that gives me HP. Just on the off chance. See, there you go. We take that. Gives us a black heart. We take that, it gives me a black heart. You see, this is... It's kind of working out. And then we have some good stuff here, but I'd die if I took any of it. But that, that still was reasonably okay. That was reasonably okay. I don't really know what having the black... The black um, candle plus this black lantern does. Because <laughs> it's blocking all the curses. I really don't know, but eh, we have them both now. It is what it is. Right, carry on. That birthright sucked. Pekka. It was gross. Also, I took Voodoo Head because with IV Bag, we can make some good plays with it. Um, we just need to actually live until we get more Red Hearts. Oh, that's not good. For some reason, I didn't expect him to be able to hit me so easily. I do have bombs to use if I need to use them for combat, depending on whatever this boss is. That was close. Just don't do your whole darting around the room thing and we'll be fine. Okay, so we're in a bit of a rough spot right now. Right. Okie dokie. Don't know if killing this will do anything, but... Yeah, this is one of my rare secret rooms. I actually updated three of my mods recently, if, if people don't know. So, I, I updated. Let me just go back and, and make sure I'm saying the right names and stuff. So, I updated my secret room mods. Uh, just because I was seeing... Like, I know I've released them ages ago and I've not updated them in a very long time. But I was seeing a lot of people complaining about how, like, the rooms just never showed up. So, I've made them not quite as rare as they once were. I think it's because a lot of people are playing with Fiend Folio on, which adds a lot of rooms, which means these rooms become even rarer. So I've made them a little uh, more common. And I also updated my special chest pool mod to include Fiend Folio and Retribution items. So both of those are now something people can go look at if you want. I'm hoping I can get a black heart out of one of these, or a heart of any kind. And indeed, I did get a heart of some kind. Very nice. Okay, good stuff. Oh, Soul Heart there as well is very nice. Cracked Orb, it's not amazing, but it's somewhat useful. In fact, actually, Cracked Orb plus IV Bag make it really good. Also, I did not realise I'd started with Sewn Bond as my trinket. That's pretty nice. But yeah, I took GB Bug because GB Bug plus IV Bag seems pretty useful. Uh, being able to spawn a penny and then re-roll it into something else. And that's a luck penny, so I'm not going to re-roll that. Okay. 
good. Good stuff. Right, let's quickly go over back to the shop. Got so many keys, I might as well check it. Um, Tarot cloth would probably be quite nice. I'll take a soul heart for now, of course. Hoping we get a HP upgrade from the boss here. That would be rather nice. It would enable a lot of stuff for us. I got another bomb. I should go to my other cash room while I've got this bomb. Although maybe I should wait, actually, first. Hanged man is good to hold on to. I just used my bomb on this anyways, didn't I? Stupid. Um, that's pretty good, the gift card. If we get a bad boss item, we can use it on that. Okay, careful of these dudes. They're getting a bit close for comfort. Extra bomb there. That makes me feel better about the mistake I just made. I could blow up the uh, keepers in the in the secret room, though. That might be a reasonable amount of value. Right, first of all, let's fight our boss, though. Let's get all of these little fellas out of the way first. Again, we can try and use our poison if it is befitting, but it's not something that we have to rely on. It's just kind of nice if we can manage it. See, so, yeah, like, that's just stupid damage right there. There was no need for me to take that damage. Now, what would be really nice here is to get a syringe, but secondary to that would be a HP upgrade. Okay. Good. There's the HP upgrade, and it's a damage up as well. Of course, we're going Angel Deal here, so let's back away from this. So now we can use our bomb on all of these guys if we'd like to, which I don't know how much value I'm going to get out of this, but I'm going to do it anyways. <sighs> No value whatsoever. That's very annoying, because that bomb could have been used for a secret room on the next floor. But we, what we can do now, at least, is we can do this. Where we hurt ourselves. That was so stupid. I just didn't time it right. That was so dumb. I'm hoping we get a soul heart out of this, at least, though. Nope, just a fuckload of troll bombs. I'm going to have to take some damage to get out of here. It's a little bit annoying. But that one's a luck penny. I'll take that. This one, we re-roll into another penny. Huzzah! Okay, that didn't really work the way I wanted it to. Whatever. Let's go. Let's flipping go. Right. Away we go to the next floor. Ugh! Not super happy with how that went. It's fine. Ooh, library? Hello. So this is kind of an interesting one, because uh, so for one, we, we do need a bomb for that. Okay, actually, this is really good for us. So, um, I think we use this. Yeah, Dad's lost coin for now. Right, so let me let me keep this book for now, and we try and get as many black arts as we can in this floor. And then we come back and get our IV bag. Do Wait, what? Did Dad lost coin? Did Dad's lost coin change what it does? Why are they dropping money on death? I'm confused. Did they change what Dad Lost Coin does? I'm very confused why I'm getting money for all of these. Like, I'm not anymore. What's going on here? They mu there's, the, the, there must have been, like, a buff recently, either through a mod I'm using, or... Something to Dad's Lost Coin. If so... Just a minute, let me... What the hell? I'm so confused right now. Is it Dad's Lost Coin that's doing this? I think it is. Right. Isaac. Dad's Lost Coin. When did this get changed? It doesn't... Say it has any different abilities. I'm so confused. Does anyone know what's causing this? Maybe that's like a default effect of the book? I just... I'm confused. I'm very confused. Somebody unconfuse me, please. Damn. 
damn it. I take a full heart of damage while I'm holding this book as well, so I've got to be a little careful about taking damage. I say that. Was not a little careful there at all. Another HP up here is fantastic. More bombs is also great. We have a lot of money now. Right. I'm right, not going to get hit by one of these freaks. They move in ways that confuses me. Stop moving like that. Thank you. Okay. Through here. They're on top of one another. It, it must be Dad's Lost Coin. Unless it's this curse thing. Curse of the swine. It's the fucking curse. It's the flipping curse. It's a very good curse. I like it. Because I don't get the negative effects, I don't think, with Black Candle mixed in there. Okay, them guys eat the poop. I did not realize they literally ate the poop. Right, pop in through here. Um, Yeah, it's worth it, I think. Right. Let's go this way. At least I know now. This would be a good buff to Dazzle's coin, though. Maybe, maybe, maybe you have the... Um, Amount of chance for a coin to spawn a hell of a lot lower than it is right now. But overall, pretty interesting idea, maybe. Get out of here, you. Half a heart there as well. Bomb that open. And get Bookworm in a moment as well. Do it once. Just the one time. Right, dude, this shouldn't have done this room, really. There was no no need to. Okay. And we leave. We go get our bookworm transformation. And we get our IV bag back. Then we use our gift card on that room. And there you go. So we bomb here, take this back, we use this, we grab this, get a bookworm, I might as well use it once actually, we use it once, get an additional key, and then we gift bag all of these, and then we bomb through here just for convenience, which I know is a bit of a waste, but still, and we get ourselves skeleton key, which a little bit overkill, but nice. We get ourselves Chaos, which, um, yeah, I'll take Chaos. And we get ourselves the Obsessed Fan. Ugh. I shouldn't have, I should, I should have picked up Chaos after using that. I'm a goof. Whatever. Anyways, to our curse rooms we go. get an item here, we get ourselves the, the wooden boy, we get ourselves welting sack, we get ourselves an angel deal, which, little unfortunate that we didn't get a thingy, I guess I'll take a guppy item, okay, chaos wasn't a great idea here, it didn't particularly work out for us, but eh, it's fine. I wonder what all those items would have been if I didn't grab Chaos. I just like Chaos, it's fun. Right, Welting Sack is more bombs for us, good stuff. Grab this. And then... Do that. Might as well reroll one of these. Oh, another penny! What a crazy world we live in. Goddamn, okay. 
Let's move on up to our other cash room and do that again. This time we get... Which apparently can teleport onto spikes, which is super useful. And then we can GB bug this as well. No, we can't. Okay. Just grab it then. Okay. We're good to go. Grab the health as it comes. And away we go. So we're probably going to get an angel deal here now, aren't we? Now that we've already had said angel deal. That just seems to be how the world works. Slightly atrocious room for this guy, to be honest. Um, just because very small space and as his eyes and creep get put down. There's going to be less and less room to manoeuvre. The next, next eye's popping out now, yeah. We want to keep him in that top corner there so that his creep stays sort of contained, but not always plausible. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Get continuum out of the boss, which is not bad. Don't mind continuum, especially with this much range. It's a decent hound you do. We get ourselves our second angel deal already. Trying to maneuver around the fire to get as much extra damage as we can. We do have Cern Bond, so our familiars are also getting Continuum. Rather nice. I got hit there, apparently. A bit confused by that. Oh, wait, no, I think it was me using that. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I've got some on-demand way of doing stuff. Also, I'm triggering um, so many, like, map icons from Cracked Orb there by using that. So we want more tier effects that are going to work with our familiars here, because we are getting one familiar per floor with Cern Bond. Uh, with, sorry, um, Guppy's Pride or whatever it's called. Crack that open. Really worth a bomb for that chest? I don't particularly think so. Wasn't expecting you, but here you are. And to kill these guys before we kill him, otherwise they'll just suck up all the gold. Aha! God damn, our money is through the roof right now. Absolutely through the roof. Don't really think we need this golden penny, but... Hey, her. What's the harm? Right, um, where to now? I mean, you might as well check this for red hearts, because there is sometimes red hearts in these. Sadly not. Any buttons here hiding behind any of these? Nah. Had to check it just in case. It was unlikely though. Right, keep it moving. Check out these guys before they spawn anything, please. Stop spawning things. Get to use some of my 99 keys now. Oh wow, what value. What great value. Some extra money. It's what I've always wanted. Stephen Floor? Would we like to do Stephen Floor? Yeah, I've got a lot of money. I could be persuaded to do Stephen Floor. My item rooms aren't super valuable. And I'll know where Secret Room is. Yeah, I'll do Stephen Floor. It's been a little while since we've done it anyway, so why not? Cool. We need to go deeper. Oh, boy. That is very tempting. The question is, is my cash room access and ability to hit myself and generate money better? Probably not, especially later on. But, goddamn. Right, let's find a, a room where I'm Sure of the, uh, the decal. There you go. Um, okay. What is the point of this room? Well, this was disappointing. 
There's nothing in here. So this is why I don't want to take the shovel. Because <laughs> sometimes that sort of stuff happens. I think IV bag is more reliably going to give us value. And I like reliable value. Ooh, hello. Uh, using a card has a 10% chance of granting eternal heart. Ooh, wow. Very good, but our trinket right now is just too good to pass up. Sun Bond is one of my favorite trinkets in the entire game. Especially when you have familiar for it to work with, and we do. Why did I lose a bunch of stats there? What happened? I'm a bit confused. What, what, what exactly happened there? No, I rerolled the fucking luck penny. God damn it. What? Yeah, why did I lose a bunch of stats there? What was that about? I'm confused. And I've gained them back again. Is this something to do with my curse? Curse of the sun, it probably is. Ow. Okay, ghosts will kill him. With ferocious fury. Libra? Libra's never good. I mean, come on. When has Libra ever been good? But, I do have 14 range. So let's try it. Yes! Very, very good stat up on the ones that mattered. Libra had value this day. Right, let's go to Stephen Floor, shall we? It's been some time since I ventured that way. But this run seems like it could be pretty valuable. In fact, there's some items we could get rid of which we don't really want. I see you. Behind the screen. You're slouching. Sit up straight. I'm not slouching. I'm recording. Not that It's not like the two can't be done at the same time, but shush. Uh, secret room is here. We do not want to go into secret room yet, though, I don't think. We want to leave it till the end. Cash room. Eh, I'd rather get some more red hearts before I do cash rooms. Blood bombs. Would it take the HP upgrade away from me with blood bombs? Probably, but I'm going to do it anyways. It didn't, and it gave me an active item. Why? Why? Is that so predictable? It's one of the reasons I've kind of stopped coming to this floor as much, because I just think that is absolute pure bollocks, that I can give it a passive item and it'll give me a um, an active. If I give it an active, fair play, give me an active back. If I give you a passive, you best be giving me a passive back. Right. Some extra HP, lovely. Continuum here is very, very nice. Been able to shoot over the gaps and stuff. Not having to mess around with the way the game wants me to play this room. Electric dice? Wait, Electric Dice is kind of jank with this, but I'm going to use it anyways. Solar Forgotten's pretty good here. Die already, dude. What the hell? This guy's strong. Good. Soul Forgotten is good for um, potential, what's it called, rooms. Um, sacrifice room. Sorry, but I don't need more keys. Haunted Rose. I'm not giving you Haunted Rose, I'm sorry, but Haunted Rose is very good. Oh, I've hurt myself there.
We get ourselves Hanged Man. I do not need more money, game. It's getting a bit ridiculous. Red Hat's rather nice there. I'm sorry, my guy. I could bomb you and see if you give me anything better, to be fair. Nope, he just died. Right. Bugger that item. Stay out of the way, that laser boy. Do you want my guppy's pride? Again, no. It's not, not doing it. You want my meat now as well? I didn't mean to bomb him again, but there you go. GB bug. You can have GB bug. 4.5 volt. It's decent. Doesn't help us right now, but it's decent. Oh, golden penny in there. Not that I need it, but still. Right. Let's do secret room now, then, I guess. Uh, I, should, I should do the other rooms first in case there's another trady boy. Probably won't be. I've seen four of them so far, I think. Normally, that's all you get. Good. Oh my lord, there's a lot going on right now. You die, please, sir. Pill? No, thank you. Okay, so we didn't get any more. Stop taking damage, you goof. Okay. Back we go. We'll do the other character room. And then we'll hop into our secret room and hope we can buy some actually good items. Because, yeah, it's not, not been a banner year for us so far. Well, this is some good stuff right here. Um, I think we can do this, right? Yep, there you go. Worked out pretty well. That all worked out very well. Okay, what do you have for us? Some shit. <laughs> Ain't this some shit. This was not worth it at all. This is... These are the issues I have with this floor sometimes. You get no item room, you get no shop, and sometimes it just shafts you. Sometimes you just get nothing good. I'm not even buying GB bug back. I don't care about GB bug. Anyways, at least we get a damage upgrade from this guy. Although we've got chaos, so maybe not. There you go, he's dead. We did get it, nice. And we'll see what fake angel deal item we get. Ugh. Dude, Chaos was such a bad pull for us. <laughs> I really should not have taken Chaos. We've had so many Angel deals and stuff that we could have got some really good stuff from. And we've not had anything like Devil Deal. Ooh, did my game just crash? My game crashed. That is the first time I've had a game crash in quite some time. And do you know what? Do you know what's absolutely delicious about that game crash? It's going to make us replay that entire floor. <laughs> Ugh. God damn it. It's gonna make us replay that entire floor. Wait, no. Tell a lie. It's gonna make us replay two floors back. Great stuff. Okay, so... This is a real bummer, but it does mean we can now not go to the, um... We can now not go to the thingy floor. Like the... Steven floor, because it just wasn't worth it. But this is quite quite the setback for a crash. I really wish this game had like some some form of like checkpointing system. Um, oh, there's different items for sale this time. I guess I'll take that, yeah, why not? Yeah, 
oh, I've tried to play space bar, but my fucking I was I was, I was feared. Um, but yeah, I really wish this game had some sort of checkpointing system because the only way that it knows like like that it saves is whenever you go to another floor, which apparently doesn't work for Stephen floor anyways. But um, yeah, like it has this checkpointing system for that, but. It doesn't save at all during the floor. I really wish that like every couple of rooms, every three or four rooms, it'd do like an internal save. So if the game did crash, it puts you back, at maybe a couple of rooms back at worst. Rather than putting you back really, really far. Right. Grab this again. Don't know how many it went for last time. Okay. I remember what rooms these are now, so I know how to prioritize. Okay, I remember also that room with the double keys being worth jack shit, so won't bother with that one. What was that item room again here? So we need to go deeper, wasn't it? I'm just going to save the key because the crawl space ain't worth it this time round. I know that I'm saving keys means nothing to us really, but... More so about getting the planetarium chance, I guess. More so about that than anything. Ow. Bad hit. Got that... Thing again. I can't remember what our second secret room was here. My memory is feeble. My mind is small. It was just some pennies. One of which is a luck penny that I actually got this time rather than accidentally re-rolling. Huzzah! This has all worked out for the better. Take you mushroomy fellas out. Check this. Pretty useful, I guess, for the boss. Bit of damage there, it's okay. So we'll, we'll take Libra again. Libra was good last time. Sticking with Libra. This time we're just going to go down to the regular floor. The game won't crash on us. Curse of the Imp. We do have a second secret room here, which is... Uh, not second secret room. Tainted treasure room, sorry. Pretty interesting. It's, um... A book of revelations! <laughs> Don't really know why. What the hell, game? Golden penny, again. Angel deal, again. See, I, I shouldn't have taken chaos. It's, it's not been good for us. It has not been good for us. I don't need that money right now, I'll be honest. Cool. Maggie's Faith still dropped, regardless of it dropping on the other Steven floor last time. Weird. Ow. Cool. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Right, keep it moving. It's a pretty good run, to be fair. I officially had to do an extra floor that didn't count for anything, but that's neither here nor there, I guess. Keep it going this way. Don't have our um, electric dice or 4.5 volt anymore, but we didn't really need them anyways for the setup we currently have. Would have been good for a different active, but with this active it doesn't make any sense. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to use one of my bombs for that key. Don't really think it's a good p value proposition right now. Golden pill. Tears down, that's an all stats down, you absolute biatch. That was horrible. Trinket smelter, no thank you. No, well, not smelter, but recrafter, no thank you.
Alright, take all these guys out. Some extra pennies. Dude, why with this guy every time? I don't need more money, my guy. I do not need more money. I wish this guy spawned a shop on death. That would be nice. That would give me more useless pennies. Right, I need to go back for my item room. Foolishly thought that this area over here was a dead end. I should have known better than that. The game is always looking to trick me. Having spectral tears has been so nice in this run. I don't know why some enemies aren't getting turned into the wooden dudes sometimes. I'm not sure what that's about. Ooh, hello. Um, Wicked Soul, we always have a curse, so this Wicked Soul is very, very good. More money. But yeah, Wicked Soul, we always have a curse. We're always getting the stats from that. Very good stuff. Good old cheeky all stats up. Nightshade is also very good. I do liketh the nightshade. Shop here. Punching bag is something, I guess. Jack of clubs is going to be... Bombs will drop more often. I guess I take that on the next floor now. Right. Away we go, to the boss, if I can remember where the hell I'm going. I think I can. I think it's this way. Yes, it is. So this guy's not too big of a problem. I don't know where I'm getting the little mini dudes from. Here's that angel deal. Have we already been in this angel deal? I think we have. That we have. We don't want the book. We've already got Bookworm as well, so it's not any use to us. Down we go. It's been a weird run. It's been a weird run. One second. Right. Keep this moving. Yeah, I've got I've got a few mini dudes with me. Look, the, this guy, the two of them carrying on. I don't know where they've come from. Lots of mini batteries, so not that we need them. Also, Curse of the Swine again, so even more money. Money, money, money. Oh wow, that was a very quick room right there. Cool. We just got Uranus out of a random... What the hell? I will not complain about that. That's a very, very nice spicy room. Do you think, Keymaster? He was dead now, bruh. Oh, dude. All of my fucking familiars have... Ice tears as well, this is awesome. And we get the sensor here, nice. Okay, so Chaos is now paying off a little bit. <laughs> now I'm not so mad at Chaos anymore. Also, my familiar train is getting bigger and bigger, which works even better with some Bond here, so I'm, I'm, I'm liking that. I haven't done Delirium as this guy either, so we'll definitely go Dark Path. Be on it to the boss so I can get moving back to the item room quickly. There you go. Now I can just be it straight back to the item room. Check out this little secret room here as well while we're at it. Definitely would like to smelt that to me, thank you. Very, very worthwhile for the cost. Right. And head back to our double cash room and our item room. So many batteries in here, but nothing to do with them. Oh, 
Might as well do all of this. See what's what. Oh, the freezing power we have right now. It's like having a ton of freezer babies. I love it. At least I opened that door. Ooh, a golden key. This is just champion belt, which I've completely ballsed up. That's like the second or third time I've done that with that exact same room layout, where I've seen it and just gone, ha ha, just fire, and just ruined the room. <laughs> My bad, I guess. My bad. I bet, I bet that's really frustrating to watch. If I were you guys, I'd be mad at me too. Good old guardian angle. Holy shit, I did not expect that to happen. Goddamn pageant boy, I've got enough fucking money. This game's rude. Right. Oh, where we go? Oh, where we go? I like the way my continuum ice spikes look as well. Right. Easy boss this should be. Freezy, freezy. Nice. Let's make some money there as well. Take that, take that. Down we go. Get that pretty small but nice all stats up. I'm pretty sure I got a bigger all stats down from the fucking tears down. Hey, 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 the freezing power. And every floor I get another head, so I'm firing more and more freezing shots every single time. Got him. Oh look! More money! I wonder what I'll do with that. God damn you, game. Right. Keep moving. Chew as well. Honestly, most things that drop now I just don't care about. <laughs> Room was gross. You want a heart container? I'm sorry, but no dice. Especially considering we've got chaos and I don't actually know what you'll give me. Right. One of those chests, no thanks. Hey, we found the boss pretty quick here. I like that. In we go. And we got this little fella. He's not that big of an issue. We spawn some little friends here and there. Got some little floating bits around the room that he's going to eat to heal up. It's a pretty cool boss design, this guy. Just a shame. He's a pushover. Right. We get ourselves Diplopia, which I'm going to say at this point, Diplopia might be more worthwhile for us. Let's take Diplopia. Ivy Bag, you've been good to me. You've been real good to me. But I have to look at greener pastures. I love the way that I'm destroying their body and knocking it into their head to kill them. I'm fairly sure we're probably going to be going this way. 
Yes, I think so. Nice to get one of those effigy rooms every now and again. Cool. Yeah, this is what's really nice about having the, uh, what's it called? Um, having the Spelunker's hat. Being able to actually tell if you're going the right way a little bit ahead of time is really nice. Ow. My god. Keep getting hit, why don't you? <gasps> Finally, my keys! Oh, for fuck! Could've given me the double items. Really did not need all of this. Oh, what? You didn't die? Fuck's sake. Grab that. Uh, this might be a slightly slow fight here. I'm going to use bombs where I can because I think our bombs are fairly strong. Hey, we skipped the phase. I like that. Angel deal. No point deploring. Hey, we got Jesus juice. That's not bad. That's not bad. Bit of an all stats up. And we go down. I guess I'm going to use Diplopia on my devil deal items, which won't be devil deals, and see if I want to double any of them. So any of these could be the correct way. So far, I think we're on the right track. Yeah, so far, I'm, I'm, I'm confident we're on the right track. Hey, big boys. I'm still confident. Nope. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I can't get through this door. Okay, it's visual only. I was like, I can't get through this door without this hitting me. So, what happens now? Hey, I picked the right way. I feel good about myself. Praying also. It's been a while since I've seen one of these. Gives you passive item duplication similar to Damocles. You'll become haunted by an altar fiend. Getting hit, um, bit by getting hit by them will grant three broken hearts and remove the buff. Yes. What? It fucking spawned on me. So I just gained three broken hearts and got no benefit from that room. It's pretty harsh shit, that is. <laughs> that's, that's pretty... That's pretty harsh shit, that is. Um, it just spawned it on top of me. How was I meant to know it was going to spawn there? Right, it's foot time. It's time for those little feet. Oh, I went for them a punching bag. God damn it. This is uh, <laughs> so hard to not get hit in the situation I'm in right there. Right. Down we go. Pop all these open and then deploy if they're good. Yes, they're good enough. Um. Wait, does my holy baby now not have um, thingy shots? I don't think he does. Right, uh, I guess I can take this as well. Do I want a double of any of these? This maybe? Yes. Okay, I'm happy enough. Oh, also, my space bar now gives me a all stats up for a brief moment. It's kind of nice. We're getting there with these guys. We're getting there. It's taking its time. We're getting there.
A mega certain should be pretty easy here. My knife would have a fucking item duplication. We just got three broken hearts for no reason. Very, very frustrated about that. <laughs> I'd be a little annoyed if I die now, because <laughs> really shouldn't have lost those hearts so easily. Oh, we get an all stats up from that as well. That makes me want to take the other one too, you know. I'm taking them both. Should try not to get hit as much as I am getting hit currently. That'd be a... A swell idea, I'd say. <sighs> okay, it's a bit stressful. A bit stressful. Don't really know what I'm looking for currently. If I could hold two strength cards, that'd be quite nice. We do have 6.45 luck, so we do have a decent chance at getting uh, getting more items here. More chests coming our way, please. There you go. Sister Maggie's not bad. Conjoined is eh, it's, it's pretty bad. It's not it's not great. My familiars don't fire conjoined shots. We need to go deeper is in here for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. I'm trying to work out where I have and haven't been. Okay. Give me both of those. Fortune cookie. Probably, a, I just was about to say, probably a good idea to take for a little bit. Try and get some health. Just for a little bit. You managed to take no damage so far. How? Oh, there's also one of these guys in here just chilling. Dude, just die. There you go. PhD, it's something. Dude, the money. The money's just silly. Right, I think we're pretty much done now. I say that and immediately walk into a room with more enemies. We're clearly not. Right. You've been taken care of. Good sir. We're doing really good damage. Take out this boy in the middle as well. Damn it, no extra chest. Okay, so I think now we are definitely done. Okay, cool. Right, come in here. Get one of those and... Ah, oh, fuck's sake, I didn't want to step on the middle there. I wanted to get that other berry. God damn it. We got a strength card though. Let's add damage in a good spot. Our little familiar dudes basically can't not hit. I do want to try and move them forward quite a bit though if I can. Which is very difficult for us to do. Okay, here we go. I'm going to stand like over here. Get them all more central. Okay, we're doing good damage here so ain't got to worry too much. Don't really know what I'm saving my um, slowdown for. I guess I save it for second phase. Ow, that was a good hit. Wasn't expecting him to jump off at such speed. With such vigor. Right. Slap through these guys. With the amount of shots we're firing here, I can't imagine these guys are going to stay alive for very long. Okay, nope, they did not. 
Okay, careful of the double troll bombs. Yep, there you go. I've decided to take out the easiest one first for some reason. It's always hard to prioritize with these guys. It's just kind of a mixed match of whoever you get. Okay. Right. We're taking out each phase very quickly, I'd say. Just a shame we can't freeze these guys, really. If we could freeze them, it'd be even better. He's gonna do his laser thing, isn't he? He tried it. He tried it. We got through it. Okay. You are very nearly dead, my good sir. And you've decided to hit punching bag, you fool. You idiotic fool. And we are in second phase now. I'm getting very well protected by my, um... Nightshade, little purple whisper boys. I think my nightshade wisps are firing um, my thingy tears as well, you know. Alright, so we use this for the meagre stat upgrade and then the, the bullet slowdown, which doesn't actually look to be too favourable, to be honest. The bullet slowdown has uh, created quite a mess. Actually, that kind of works. Let's start using bombs as well, if we can. Does this destroy shots? These do destroy shots. I did not know that about them. Why can't I fire them right? I think my familiars keep hitting them before I do. That's my main problem here. Good, we're getting some ghosties down as well. Kind of forgot about them. There you go. We're, we're golden here. We're good. Nice. Now, is Delirium in the cards if it shows up for us? Maybe? No. Doesn't matter anyways. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.